So night sights are 100% a gimmick. Pretty bold words to say out on YouTube with as many keyboard warriors and other people that say they know things or do know things or use them and haven't used them. I'm gonna get a lot of controversy on this. But the whole point is for you to save money on potential upgrades for your weapon systems. I would not place night sights anywhere close in the realm of a list to get. And I'm gonna to explain to you why, and I'm gonna give you a demonstration why, to really pound it home to understand. Now, night sights in general come with, or come on a lot of different weapon systems. Literally have a bunch laid out. M45A1 was issued to the Marine Corps, has night sights by Trijicon. The current issue weapon system for myself, sidearm, M18 by SIG, or the SIG P320 variant, M18, has night sights. The Army counterpart, the M17, has night sights. FNX 45 Tactical, awesome gun, this is my nightstand gun, has night sights on it. Moving over to the SIG P365, this one comes with night sights, and a bunch of other stuff does too. Now that's fine, I'm cool with weapon systems coming with them, even though I will never use them realistically, which I'll get into, but there was one point in time I made a mistake in my life and bought night sights for a particular Glock 19 when I was younger and didn't have the full experience of military and law enforcement and operating in no light or low light conditions, you know, overseas, law enforcement realm, going all kinds of crazy places, drawing weapon systems and really like training and utilizing weapon systems and using or figuring out, I don't need night sights, there's better things on the market. So blah, 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 let's get to the chase. There's two technical mindsets of this, the civilian mindset and the military mindset. Let's start off with the, mil or the civilian mindset. Civilian mindset, why would I need night sights as a civilian? Well, in my opinion, there's no point because you are not doing direct action missions in Afghanistan. You don't have a specific list of saying, hey, if you go into this location, everyone is hostile. You know, there is no target discrimination, which is fairly rare these days, but sometimes it does happen overseas. So with that, civilian guard in your home or being defensive mindset does not have that luxury. You have the court to fall back on. And I'm going to show you real quick and explain what I mean. All right, so as you can see right here, I have my night sights up and I'll try to bump it up the brightness so you can see. Now this is an FNX 45 Tactical, but the point I'm trying to make is if I can see my night sights right now, I cannot see anything else even to identify my target. Now as soon as I turn on my weapon light, the night sights literally disappear, meaning they are worthless. And But now I can see downrange, meaning I can identify my target properly, so I won't go to prison when I go to court about identifying target. But as soon as I come off my weapon light, immediately they come back. Perfect, cool, why? Because when you have the light, you can still line up your sights, just like this, due to surrounding lumens. You shooting in this environment right here is absolutely pointless and will get you put in prison. This is where you should be engaging. Verbal commands and using a light or another illumination tool. That right there is my single main reason for explaining this. All right, so do you think I hit that hard enough with that specific clear demonstration? I think I did, which is specifically one instance of target ID or identification. Now, like I said, the one benefit, I guess you could say, of night sights that I utilize it for, and the only purpose I use it for is when it's sitting on my nightstand and it's completely dark and I hear something, I can immediately look over to my nightstand and see night sights just glowing there so I can immediately go to my pistol. It's the only benefit. I'm actually not employing them, it's just some kind of illumination tool that I can see when it's pitch dark to grab my pistol, if necessary. 
But I can tell you for a fact, I will never buy night sights to place on a firearm. It will not be on the list, and it will not be even remotely close to something that I want to purchase. And I don't think you should either, because I think you could use your money on something else. Now, even under night vision, if we transition to the military mindset, I have utilized night sights and other tools under night vision. You know, single monocular, dual tubes, all this stuff. And honestly, it still doesn't work that great. Even when you pull your weapon system up and you're trying to see this through night vision, they are giant bloomed blobs that you're kind of like, like kind of trying to guess-ish. Can you make it work? Yes. It's extremely difficult and I would rather just use a red dot. For example, this one's a hollow sun. I have a couple Trijicon RMRs on other weapon systems as well. That's what I prefer as a Trijicon RMR just because it works extremely well, rugged and this stuff. But that is a solid tool because when you put up your red dot through night vision, it's right there. It's clear and concise. Now, with this, night vision has a specific focal distance. You have to, you know, adjust your night vision device to see clearly at a certain distance. And normally, that is on your threat distance, whatever you think your threat is gonna be at, maybe 25, 20 meters, or you know something like that. So when you pull something up, like a pistol like this, very close to you, they all bloom out. And it's difficult to use, but you can use in a pinch. So even with that, if you're gonna invest $10,000 in the night vision, what is, an extra $100 for a light, or $300 for an IR light, or $300 to $500 for a red dot of some kind. In the drop of the, or in the grand scheme of stuff, for $10,000, an extra $750 for all that stuff isn't really that much. Now I get it, budgeting and stuff like that, I get it. But ultimately, there's better tools out there and I will not be using night sights. Now that's just me, and this is just my opinion. Some people may disagree and be upset that I'm saying this, and I guarantee you guys are typing furious and you don't know what you're talking about, maybe because you invested a lot of money and you're trying to protect your you know, investment and not look dumb. And it's not being dumb really, it's just, in my opinion, because I did it too, right here, a couple pistols I have done it too, so we've all been there. But this is just my opinion. If you disagree with it, that's fine. I'm not too concerned. Keep buying them, that's fine. You do you. It's a free country, at least where we live and where I live, and you can do what you want. So, no hard feelings. It's just, this is my opinion, this is how I feel it. Just trying to save you all money. Put that money into something else, like training, or ammunition, or gear, or something like that, because this is not something to spend money on. Now, if you guys like this kind of stuff and want to see more, definitely hit like, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it or give me a, or I guarantee a random, specific, myopic view of like, well, at this one time at this place, at this time, I use night sights to do this at this. I get it, there's probably those one percenters out there that utilize them properly somehow, but identifying your target is more important than actually pulling the trigger on the target that you don't even know if it's a target. <laughs> so, done ranting, that's it. Hope you all have a great day.